Let's take a look around and get to know the Traction user interface. What's important to note is that Traction is a single screen user interface. What this means is that everything happens within this one window. When you first start Traction, you will see this Projects tab over here. And this will be broken down into the Active Projects and the Library Projects. The Active Projects are the songs that you're currently working on. And when you select one, you'll see the edits that you've done with that project and the recorded audio that's associated with it. You can create new projects on this panel down here, or you can open previous ones. Next, you have the Settings tab. Here you can set up your audio devices, your MIDI, your plugins. But don't worry, I'll go through these settings through the course of this tutorial. Any tabs next to the setting tab will be your songs. And this plus sign over here is a shortcut to create new projects or to jump between previous ones. With this project open over here, let's take a look around and see what's available. You have this left pane over here. Here the file options is selected and you can navigate down below here to locations on your system. The preset tab includes any presets that you've saved within Traction or comes bundled with it, such as presets for your plugins and plugin racks. Tracks will show you the tracks in your project and the tabs that you've created for them. You can use the search function here. For example, you can use it to search for specific plugins and presets. And any notifications for traction will be posted here on the notification area. And this pane can be hidden or shown by clicking this button over here. This main area here in the middle is your range area. It shows your tracks on the left. And then there's a timeline which shows the regions or clips for your tracks. What's important to note about Traction is that if you select any item, like a track, a region, or a clip, it'll update its properties in the control panel area on the bottom. So check it out. Each time I select a different clip, the details change on the bottom. And the same goes for when I select different tracks. So that's how Traction gets everything to fit on a single screen. You select different items and then view its properties and details. So with Traction, you don't have menu options and windows in the top to jump between different functions. Instead, in the bottom left over here, this is where you can find the same thing. For example, you can find your save functions over here, or if you want to import some items. So working through this course, we'll cover these functions over here, so you'll know where to find them. Now let's check what happens with the panels on the right. So with this first plus sign over here, this allows you to create clips or marker items. And the great thing about Traction is it supports drag and drop functionality. So all you have to do is drag this icon onto a track and you can create a new clip. The next plus sign over here allows you to add effects or plugins to your tracks. Just simply click and hold this, drag it to a track, and a menu comes up showing you which plugins you can insert on this track. The pane beneath this is your filter panel, and it contains the inline mixer, which is a feature of Traction. What this means is your normal mixing functions all sit along this area over here. You've got your effects, you've got a volume fader, above this is your pan settings, and then you have a meter here showing your volume, and then mute and solo buttons. So this is what your mixing area will look like in Traction. You've got some extra items here above the filter pane. You can show and hide the tempo track. You can also show and hide your marker items. This button over here will show and hide your track inputs. You can also hide the filter pane to give you some more screen real estate. And you can also hide and show the control panel below. You also have some scroll bars here on the right and below the range area with some zoom functionality. So you can increase the zoom of the height of your tracks and then scroll up and down. And you can also increase the zoom of your timeline and scroll between this. And lastly, 
in the bottom right area here, you have your global master controls, such as your transport controls, like your play and record buttons. Over here, you can drop some mastering plugins for your master channel output. Over here, you have your master volume output, the master pan control, and a VU meter to show you the output levels. And next to the master volume control, you have some other options, like to enable loop, the click, and snap settings. We'll go through these in detail through the course of the tutorial. So that gives you an idea of Traction's unique single screen user interface. Next, let's see how to start a project and start building up a song.